So the first thing you want to do when you're streaming on YouTube is make sure you go to your YouTube live dashboard and go to your stream key. This is where you want to make sure you create a new stream key. And then here you're going to give it whatever name you want. Um, I like to name it 1440p and I'm going to show you why uh, right now. So keep watching. Um, so you want a 1440p, let's say 60 FPS stream. So we are going to create our own stream for that. Now the description doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and move on down to the streaming protocol. Now RTMP, I don't know a lot about the technical stuff, but apparently HLS might be a little better. Um, RTMP um, is kind of like the industry standard and has been for a while to my understanding. Um, I don't remember what HLS means or does exactly, but I've been using it and I, I think from my research a while back, um, you can get a little bit better quality out of it. So I'm gonna recommend you use HLS here. Um, and then we're going to go to stream resolution and turn on manual settings. Here, you want to make sure you select 1440p um, as your resolution. You don't want to do 4K and we don't want to do 1080p or anything less uh, to get the most quality because as you can tell right here, selecting this at 1440p is going to allow us to go up to about 13,000 bit rate. Um, but what this also does more importantly is forces YouTube to use like a VP9 or VP09 codec, something like that um, versus an AVC1 uh, on your stream and your videos which is going to dramatically, is that a word? Dramatically uh, increase your quality of your video. So we wanna make sure we're streaming at 1440p. Now you don't have to actually stream at 1440p. We'll get into the OBS settings here in a second, but make sure you have this on 1440p. Um, and also make sure you do not forget to select or check mark this turn on 60 FPS option. Uh, if you are streaming at 60 FPS, which most people are when they stream gameplay, after you do that, you can just click create and then it'll be saved. Now you want to open up your OBS. We're going to go to the settings and we're going to start on the output tab. Um, now make sure you do put your stream key into um, your stream section here. You want to go to YouTube um, and then actually put it in here um, or connect your account however you want to do that. Um, but we're going to go to the output section here and for the video encoder, I'm gonna highly recommend you use the HEVC one. This is gonna give you a little bit better quality than H.264 if it is available. So that's what we wanna use. That's what I've been using and I've noticed a little increase in quality from H.264 by using the HEVC. It might also be called H.265 uh, depending on you know what, what card you have and whatnot. Uh, but just know that that's the same thing as HEVC. Uh, from here, we want to make sure we go to rescale output. This is very, very important for this method. Um, this is where we want to actually put the resolution for 1440p, which is going to be 2560 by 1440. Make sure you do not forget this step or you're, it, it just won't work out uh, when trying to stream at 1440. Basically what this means is when it sends it to YouTube, it's going to send a 1440p output, even though we aren't technically streaming at 1440p. Moving on down to encoder settings, we wanna make sure our rate control is on CBR. And then bitrate, I've been streaming at a 13,500. Um, it shows the max is 13,000 when we set up that stream key. So I actually just noticed that when recording this video, so I might just make mine an even 13,000. Um, but I've been doing 13,500, it's been working uh, well for me. Maybe I'm sending a little too much to them, but either way that should work for you, but maybe just set it to 13,000 to be safe. Um, Keyframe interval, you wanna set this to two for YouTube. Um, zero on auto is fine as well. I just like to have it set manually so I know for sure what it's on and that it's right. So you wanna make sure that's on two. Um, and then preset, you can leave this on slow, good quality. If you move it up higher, um, it, you tend to have more skip frames and drop framed issues. If you do have those issues, you can try lowering it down to medium. Anything lower than that's probably gonna kill your quality uh, quite significantly though. Uh, tuning, you can leave this on high quality. Multi-pass mode. Uh, a lot of people say to just leave this on single pass. I have had mine on two pass, two passes for resolution and had no issues. Um, so really either one of those I think is fine. I'm just gonna leave mine on two passes for resolution. But if you have issues, that's one thing you could try changing and see if it resolves them. The rest of this you can leave on default. Now we're gonna go to the advanced tab and set our process priority to above normal. This will just make sure OBS has plenty of resources to operate uh, fully. And then we're gonna come down to network and I highly, highly recommend you turn on dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion. Um, this will basically allow 
OBS to uh, fluctuate your bit rate depending on you know your network if someone starts watching Netflix or something and then there's a spike uh, with your upload speed or whatever um, it'll kind of iron it out and make sure that uh, the quality on the stream will drop a little bit but it won't skip frames and that's a lot better than skipping frames is just dropping quality for that period of time and then it should come right back to your 13,000 bit rate um, so that's just a good uh, peace of mind setting to have on so you know that you're not going to skip or drop frames even if there's a little hiccup in your network you can also enable new network optimizations and tcp pacing for further network optimization i'm not sure the technicality of what these do exactly i'm no expert on that but i do know that uh, for me at least they've helped iron out any issues i may have had in the past once you have all that set click apply and that's all there is to it thanks for watching this video hopefully this helped you guys stream at very good quality on youtube thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time